Uh, this is the second podcast for like five podcast, and after we did the first one, uh, there were two three people who said they wanted to come on this, and I asked them for like a suggestion on what they want to talk about, and they gave these very weird, difficult philosophical things. and i didn't like that whole image of us talking about serious things and deep conversations only so and the idea of this podcast was to talk about literally anything and everything um and so today i chose the idea of talking about our top 5 favorite songs now these songs can be because of like the lyrics the beat or the time in life when you listen to them and it's it's a very light conversation and all three of us like music um all three of us have played music like we we know how to play an instrument um and so i think it's it's a kind of topic that appeals to everyone so who wants to go first with their song and did yeah chalo i guess i'll go first then uh okay so so like we had to choose five songs right so for me personally it was really hard to list down five songs and i'm pretty sure it is hard for others as well to just yeah. list down five favorite specific songs so and for me especially like my songs aren't about like which ones i like the most like once i like a song and i listen to it a lot then like i automatically would consider it like one song that i listen to a lot but for me my favorite like i have favorite songs depending on phases of my life and like you know emotions that i felt at that time so i guess these five songs like represent like really significant parts of my life like in different different stages so i'm just going to start off with the first one uh it's it's time by imagine dragons so imagine dragons like when i was like 13 14 they were like my favorite band and throughout like junior section middle section i, I was like obsessed with them and their first album night visions and with its time is actually like it's such a it's such a wholesome beat and it's so relaxing and the guitar too and the music video as well it's like of this of this like green field and just i don't know it just really like resonates with me so and it just reminds me of like growing up going to middle school and just like listening to it in the car while going to tuition at that time as well and the guitar especially just like really it just really makes me feel like A, a young teen again basically so, so yeah that's my first thing if you guys want to say anything about so it. when you when you <laughs> listen to this song do you like actually like do those images of middle section and junior section play at the back of your head yeah basically like i just i like you know with memories it's weird because a certain sound or certain smell can trigger them now so like when i listen to these songs and especially when it's time like i just get like glimpses of that those times as well yeah that that's that's like spongebob for me because even when when we have exams or when i'm stressed about something i usually just watch spongebob because it reminds me of like when i was younger and like had nothing to do and just watching that simple show yeah man <laughs> i swear it's exciting you know, this, gives me, this gives me really like um fifa song vibes like i know that for a lot of people like for like so much of our life like some many of our favorite songs came from like video games and fifa when we were younger because like that's what we were exposed to so it gives me like you know like that indie type fifa old fifa song by where has like you know that exactly melody and like it's also like like i can imagine a young nabil listening to the song it's kind of like it has like a simple like nice meaning like it's like um i'm never changing who i am that's so like cute to me the, the lyrics are kind of like deeper than expected but the the beat is just so wholesome like the entire like guitar part and tune so yeah bro this reminds me of like a, a phase when like everyone like like this type of music more than like remember like, when everyone really liked uh what was it 21 pilots yeah 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 i mean <laughs> Personally, this reminds me of that song, you know, Pompey by Basti. Like everyone, like at least yeah. in sixth grade, that, was obsessed with it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. That, that was like a whole like type of music that we all listened to. Yeah. Like it was not like what type of what type of genre is this? Like, like indie alternate, like rock. But like it's it's indie alternate, but like it's like it's a contemporary indie. It's like sounds so different from like this. Like what is this? Like early two thousand tens. Like they had like a specific sound. Like at that. 
like what's that guy um uh like one republic they have that band they have like yeah, this type of counting like, stars yeah band. that song is special um another is that like, like milky chance right i love that band is bro i yeah. love their songs yeah see like like it gives like a cool like it's like a time period in my mind like that was like i when you to listen to music like that so should i go next or do you want to yeah, go yeah you, you go next Okay, so my first song is okay. So it's not pronounced this way. I don't know how to pronounce the actual thing. Uh, it's "Dire Maker" uh, by Led Zeppelin, and it's supposed to sound similar to Jamaica. Um, and this song, like when I first heard it, it was so different because I listen to a lot of rock. and what you would expect from led zeppelin is either one of those slow songs or like fully distorted guitars and the song started with a reggae beat and i i didn't expect anything like that and when i looked into the song like you know the meaning of the song or i was looking for something deeper and it was literally the song was after a joke and the reason why i love this song is because it switches so much it's like a very bipolar song like it starts yeah. with a very high pitched guitar like just the guitar and it's like reggae beat and like the lyrics are so basic they have no meaning and like robert plant in most of the time just saying oh again and again and it's just like this mood of like sitting at the beach like you know having like a refreshing drink in your hand and it's like a calm breeze they're like the water is calm it's somewhat sunny and right after like robert plant says the words mad like the whole thing switches the guitar like there's distortion there're just power chords there's the drums start and it's it's the singer is like talking about him getting mad and angry and it sets like this whole like clouds are coming the winds getting stronger the waves are getting stronger and like you know the umbrellas at the beach are flying off and it's that constant switch only because the guitar's beat changes from this high pitched like sound to a fully distorted lower pitched sound and i think it represents me a lot as well because it's like at random moments like it's going completely fine and all of a sudden it becomes very chaotic and very angry and very like stressful and then after a while it just goes back to normal and is that constant switch again and again and that's something i really like because even when i'm listening to it in in the car or wherever like my head bobs to the reggae beat and then all of a sudden everything becomes a bit more stronger and chaotic when he starts like playing the distorted guitar so i just really like that switch and i really think it represents my personality a lot bro i remember like the day that you made me listen to the song you were like listen to the song and i was like oh and like you were like it's led by led zeppelin and i listened and i was like bro this is so different from like all other led zeppelin songs i've ever heard and like i was like oh i didn't think and like i've heard it like so many times and yeah. what you were saying about like how it um it changes like i feel like it reminds me a bit of you in the sense like you if you've talked about like how you've had like phases in your life where you felt like angry and stuff and like you know it, it's like it's kind of like that and another thing is like um you said like how it just like like there's so much like references in the song like yeah there there is one thing that that like that like now this is getting a bit deeper like in the lyrics it's like in the start with the reggae beat at the back Robert Plant's just saying like when i read the letters you wrote me it made me sad and that itself if it had very a very slow beat at the background those words could have a lot of meaning but him saying yeah. it so lightly with such a happy mood it shows like okay, okay he doesn't care and then all of a sudden there's this breaking point where he says the same thing but how like the letters made him mad and it's like it, it represents me in terms that sometimes when things are going like this this is more of me like in the past like i tried to hold things a lot like inside and like even if like a lot of big things are happening i wouldn't give them importance i'd be like oh acha theek hai ho raha 
and then there'd be a specific point where it just that that th- those things i didn't care about became so important and they they affected my mood and my emotions so much and that built up anger and everything so everything about this song even though it like the lyrics don't have that much meaning the the song doesn't have that much meaning it's still like it, like i find it I, it's one of my favorite songs it is my favorite like, song you like its simplicity basically right like i feel like with the song it's like there's so much chaos in it but it's like super, on, on the sur- superficially like you don't realize how like deep the lyrics are but then like when you really look into it like you realize that okay this is like even though the lyrics are simple like you realize it's not all like happiness and reggae like to me when i heard it for the first time my dad loves that zeppelin so like i've heard it before and it reminded me of like bob marley vibes like you know yeah reggae and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly so at first i never like so it just gives me good vibes honestly but looking at the lyrics like when you mentioned it like now i'm just realizing that it's so simple <laughs> yet yeah, so like deep yeah bro but this di- like dia maker rhymes with like jamaica but like is that on purpose or am i just no it is it's on this joke about like i, I don't remember the joke it's like i don't know it's it's about uh, like, it's, it's, it's a word play on the pronunciation of words in the place they can they come from like somewhere and so it's it's on this joke that is connected to jamaica and the pronunciation of jamaica and that's why i think there's like the reggae beat and everything yeah so so your favorite song okay yeah so before i go i mean i just wanted to do like a thing like nabil said about like how his songs like relate to like phases in his life and i mean maybe these are not like the songs like i listen to the most but they're the songs which i can relate to like something that have, songs have taught me something or songs that remind me of lessons that i've learned and um another thing is that like so you know daniel kind of like he he didn't want to do this podcast cuz he said like i don't listen to music that much he said i don't want to i'm not like very, very open with being vulnerable on a podcast he's comfortable with it yeah yeah so like i mean i was thinking about it also and then i was just like fuck it bro i'll just um like like if i'm i don't think it's bad to be like open so some of these songs are kind of like emo i mean i know like most of my friends think i listen to like the pressy music but like i'm saying these are not songs i listen to the most they're just the songs they've taught me the most so um the first song is i don't want to do this anymore by x x x x tentacion um x is i mean so before this my favorite song used to be like um misery by maroon 5 it's not one of my top 5 songs but like that you should like like i used to like different songs before but i'm starting it from this point because this is when like start of like a journey that i kind of had where i feel like i changed a lot in a very short period of time like between 9th grade to now that's probably one of some of the most formative years of my life and uh, i remember so what i associate this song, i really like x as an artist um like me and zabeer have talked about this before <laughs> like bro but there was just there's this basically i really like this girl um it's really like kind of sappy kind of cringe when i think about it now but like i mean that was me at that time and so why should i be embarrassed of my past like if i if i relate to that song kind of like simping at the time right like but but it's it's like um he talks about like how the girl is this basically same thing bro the whole song is same thing like he's 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 just like she's so perfect um he's talking about like how um the how he wishes he had told her things before which he didn't get the opportunity to talk about and now because that girl is not like an active part of my life anymore so now when i think about it i remember the, th- the thoughts that i had then and i remember um when like because he talks about like i'm about to catch my flight and i remember when she took a flight so it's like that um basically another thing is that i, I associate these songs to these um amvs on youtube 
bro uh they, yeah, i saw they, they, the beast boy one not the teen titans yeah, one the teen titans yeah, one there's a teen titans one and then there's a um phineas and ferb one bro those were those hit me bro i never knew about the last episode of phineas and ferb like it was it, in the last episode of phineas and ferb like they go to university they're like so much older there and like it's like um what's that girl's name the one who's like kind of annoying and she has the boner hair Bro, okay, whatever. The girl who likes Phineas, fine. Yeah, yeah. The, the one with so, the bow tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. The, the, okay. If you're watching this podcast, like, go and, like, Google what happened in the last episode. It was really, like, emotional, okay? Like, those those AMVs, I remember them really distinctly. This was when I was really, like, like 10th grade, fine. And I remember, I don't know why. Okay, I'm, I personally think I'm, I'm like... Even if I am a lot like less emotional now, I am. I am generally. I describe myself as an emotionally intense person. Like I don't shy away from my emotions. So I remember I was at um, one of my friends' house. It was like a dark room for some reason. I remember watching this music video and I started crying. Bro, and I felt so embarrassed. Why am I crying in front of my friends? But like, I don't know. Like, fine. Those. And then um, with with. I I so like I I just like him a lot because of, I remember this one time when I went to Budapest I was listening to another song of him like on repeat the whole time I, okay whatever but that's my first song that I wanted to talk about it's not like it's probably like third favorite song out of all these five I, I I'm trying to do this in like a narrative way like I'm going like I'm Nabil said phases of his life, so I'm trying to do this in like phases of my life. So this was like tenth grade when what I really like, yeah. My life, like, well, like okay, th- there is only one song that's never changed from like its ranking, which is Dire Maker. Um, the rest of the songs change based on time mood. and mood. Yeah, they're the yeah. same songs except the fifth. They're the same songs. But like the ranking and like and that changes. Should I go on then to my second one? Okay, shut up. My second song, like, I'll continue the narrative that Saad said about like you know lessons and girls as well. So my next song is like No Role Models by J Cole. Okay, and. It's not really uh, the lyrics exactly like he talks about something different, but to me, I like like think of it as something else. Huh? And your own meaning. Yeah, exactly. I have my own meaning there. So in this one, like you know, he the like Jay Cole's basically trying to like you know like help him like realize his self worth and like you know tell like tell himself to like not to like leave the girl like you know focus on yourself like you know don't save her. He keeps on repeating that over and over in the song. So like to me. That if like it, to me, it basically hits me in the sense that like you know, I should focus on myself, not get caught up in my emotions or like relation so much into my like relationship aspect of my life and just focus on myself and just even there's like one like clip of the song in one clip that's like it says fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, and I just feel like, and that's also like mispronounced. It's like a joke in this inside joke in the song as well. So I feel like that also just, it's basically a song that helps me stay on track. Like whenever I'm confused or whenever I'm distracted or too overly emotional, I, I listen to the song and it helps me like you know, be in my balance and footing. So not to like drag it on too much too long, but that's basically it. Just to like clear my head, I listen to the song. Yeah. For me, for clearing my head, my song's pretty weird. It's one of these three. It's like. Stairway to Heaven, it's Bohemian Rhapsody, or it's Dance of Death. And I don't know why. There, it's like there's so much happening in the song that there's so many, like, I go through all my emotions and thoughts so quickly because, like, the song keeps on changing that, like, it gets done with very quick. So I don't know why. It just clears my mind. Um, uh, what's it called? J. Cole's album, 2014, Horace Hill, Hill, Hill Drive, is like a classic. Love, bro, that, like, love that album, like, yeah. One of my top five songs is also from that same album. So I, I really like this that this song, No Role Models. Stay tuned like, to find out, guys. Like, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, 
it was my turn. No, okay. I, I didn't say my second song. I just said like those songs that are just like. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we go. Yeah. So my second song is also by Led Zeppelin. Uh, it's in my time of dying. Um, it's originally like a blues song, or like blues song by the name like G- Jesus standing by my bed or something like that. Um, and it's it, the song revolves around death and everything. And I really like I initially liked that song because it used a guitar slide, and I really liked that thing in like a rock song and like distorted oh. And that was the first song I learned with a slide. Um, but like later on, and like even in the lyrics, I I find that song pretty intense because initially it's like him standing on heaven's door, going like, "Hey, I haven't done anything wrong." And after that, it switches to, um, like, I was young and I have done things wrong, but I've also helped people. And it's all that thing, hey, in the end, like, yeah, I have done things, but like, just let me pass through. And it's that always that bringing up like that fact of Jesus and like dying and standing at the gate of heaven and everything. And it, it, it like reminds me of like, you know how in movies as well, when, when a character becomes close to death or everything, they somewhat lose significance for things around them. And it's like, they change a lot. And so it makes them very vulnerable and it makes them very like, puts them in a very confused state and this song represents that a lot and I really enjoy listening to it so it's nothing anything personal but it's just the song itself that I just really like listening to um, I was listening to the song right now um, the drums are really powerful the drumming in the song is like uh, Powerful, I guess. Like that's the best way to say it. Um, I like what you talk, like how you said you connected it to like mortality. Yeah, I can imagine the song being like in a movie, like you said, like an old western or something like that. But I like the song. Um, it's a long song, it's eleven minutes. But I mean, that's like lots of plus. And all. also, I think that slide <laughs> effect of the guitar. Like it doesn't let the music stop or become still at any point. It's like brings this point of like confusion always because it's like you're not playing a solid note. It's just flying somewhere there. So it creates this confusion and everything. And I think using like a guitar slide for a song with lyrics like that and like guitar slide in blues genuinely, I find it very interesting and very smart because all blues songs as well revolve around these confusing emotions and thoughts. And that guitar slide is like creates this ambiguity because like you're just flying over the notes. You're not really playing anything like concrete. And I just think that like that makes a very big effect. I find it interesting. Like this kind of reminds me. Wait, sorry, sorry, go on. I was saying this song kind of reminds me a bit of like the end of the world. Like talks about like let me horn the angels are marching like you know it has like this opera like I mean like really dramatic type feel like it feels it's being played by like a symphony like a like a I don't know you know what I mean right like yeah it's some opera music can you guys hear me like really? am I lagging no, we can hear you. Okay, so I, I find it really interesting how, sorry, I just get really conscious about lagging and like, you know, but I find it really interesting how they like adapted the song, like you said, and like, you know, took the blue style and like made it into the, like, put their own touch onto it. And I just really appreciate like artists go out with their like <laughs> conventional styles and just like try out new things. So to me, I really find the instrumentals of it really interesting and how, how long it is. Like, it's like the beat just switches also, like, like you said. And, Parts of it, so I find that pretty cool. Okay, so Saad, your second. Okay, so narratively, like I was talking about, um, like it continues a lot of the same feelings, but it it um, continues from there and it goes into a different direction. So some of the lyric, well, first of all, this 
like the the chords that he plays in the song are so simple like it's literally like it's just like four different notes one? that repeat and then... okay guys so sad's internet kind of messed up so he glitched so i don't want this to be blank space uh we're looking at better ways to record and everything and if you have suggestions you can give them and if you ever want something to talk about you can come on this and there are no permanent people on this podcast so if even you want to join someday just message our instagram page and we'll get you on board hope you enjoy the rest of the podcast can you hear me yeah yeah, yeah. okay so um like i was saying it continues a lot of the same feelings but it goes into a different direction so he starts by saying um like like i was talk- first i was talking about the beat right like it's so simple and it just repeats itself and like it 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 really calms me down it like grounds me into the moment um it's like a song i love listening to at night when i'm like looking at the stars it's literally like called star shopping um so what like so when i mean he continues the same feelings he talks about like you're so much more than gorgeous so much more than perfect but then he comments on himself like it's not only about like he uh, and i feel like i can the one of the reasons why i felt like so like okay he talks about like um if you give me right now i know that i'm not really worth it if you give me time i can work on it um give me some time while i work on it it feels like you know sometimes i think of myself as like a work in progress right like i'm not always like really like like everyone has insecurities right like i'm not always like okay like this is where i want to be in life this is what i want to do in life this is who i want to be but i feel like it's it's really like it, it it's peaceful when you think about like this is not my final form and i am getting better every day i'm i'm doing more i'm learning more um i'm bettering myself and he says like the earth is in rotation you're waiting on me another thing he says like we only have one conversation a week um i feel like i could relate to that a lot at a specific point because um i was having difficulties communicating um he talks about like all of um that's why your friends are always hating on me i think that's very relatable for me because a lot of people did not like me at a specific point um they should not be named yes um and then he says none of my exes are over me kind of funny and then i mean like so he, he takes he takes those like feelings and he puts them somewhere else like he he directs them in a different direction so i had these feelings i was i i i wanted more in life but i i like i like i stopped thinking about stuff in that way i started thinking more about like um like the shout out to everyone making my beats you helping me preach like you know like expressing yourself he talks about like look at the sky tonight all of the stars have a reason a reason to shine a reason like mine and i'm falling to pieces and i feel like that's one thing that i think about like a lot like what is my reason what's my purpose what do i want in life so it's just a really calming song it's it's mostly the lyrics and how simple it is i guess that's it so can you say like it it causes you to reflect on yourself when you listen to it yeah definitely definitely like sad when you played the song whenever like you know we're together and stuff it's mostly like when we've been on the roof and like you know like i just feel like those lyrics really do hit deep but like really sobers the mood but like the beat is this it's like really vibey as well and it just for me whenever i listen to it whenever you play it as well it just makes me reflect on things too and just like, you know temper things down a bit like it's it's like a good like thing to just i don't know like it just more of like a melancholy type beat it's not really sad it's not happy it's just like reflecting on whatever happened yeah maybe okay I'll... okay so my third song is by the beatles it's and i love the beatles honestly and it's called strawberry fields forever so it's one of their like popular songs yeah yeah I, obviously i love the song yeah 
So for me, I've this I've heard this song like I I don't know when I even heard it like a long time ago, but I've been listening it listening to it a lot during quarantine, and like because the thing is it's not like the the beat and the rhythm is so nice and it's like really like happy go lucky type like really calming, but there's always there's like a weird eerie thing tinge to it like not not everything's that as it seems and like that's one I think that's like the lyric of the song as well like nothing is real. So like during quarantine, when I like wasn't in a good place either, like things were just so weird. Emotions were so like muddled up, and I just listened to the song, and I I just really resonate with it because I was like, you know, at this point, what matters? Like what's real? Like it was just so. It made me feel happy but sad at the same time because the beat was so like it doesn't really match the lyrics because even he talks about uh, that guy. Uh, John Lennon, like when he he wrote the song, and it's about like his childhood insecurities and stuff like that. So I don't relate it on like an insecurity type level. I relate it into like a confusion and just like being in the state of limbo, not being able to like move forward or backwards, just being like stuck in quarantine for me. I feel like this was like just helped me through it, and it was just thing too, I guess. But yeah. I feel like the song has a really like psychedelic tune. Yeah, to it. Like, yeah, exactly. Even the music video, I forgot to add that. Like the music video, like a remastered version of it on YouTube, but like it's filmed in such a such a like the quality is so like nice. It doesn't even seem like it's from the '60s and stuff, but it's like it's really psychedelic, basically. Like, I don't know if they were high while making this or the beat, but like it makes me feel well, like were, <laughs> the Beatles were avid users yeah. of drugs. Allegedly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Allegedly, but yeah, Zubi, we can move on to yours. Your third song. Okay, so talking so much gets me coughing a lot right now because, like, I was sick recently. <laughs> Corona. So, yes. Um. So my third song is a song that I was told about like last year only. in um september uh by hamza i think hamza khan uh and it's a song by queen which is my favorite band and the song is my melancholy blues and the first time i heard the song it caught me off guard because like there's no guitar in it um i don't think there are any drums in it it's just the piano and Fer- freddy mercury and it's it's so different even the way he sang it you know a lot of like songs of um queen are very upbeat or they start slow and they end at a very like you know it they end with this emotion of breaking through and not caring and everything um yeah this song it was very different and not a lot of people like it but I loved it and also things like basically he's talking about so it's like the this it starts over like another party is over and I'm left cold sober and it's constantly talking about how the girl left him and everything and it's it it gives you that mindset of like you know when you're going through something very difficult and you can't deal with it at that time you try to surround yourself with friends you try to surround yourself with like good times to like cover it up and um not being able to deal with it and all of that stuff and he talks about intoxicating himself to get rid of these things and there's one part where he says um don't expect me to behave perfectly and wear that sunny smile and like i really like that because a lot of times when you're feeling sad or emotional and i learned this later on but everyone has different tolerances and everyone has different things that can knock them down and if let's say you can deal with someone leaving you and the other person can't you can't expect them to just like be happy and tell them oh it's nothing why are you being so emotional and everyone should take their own time and should like follow their own way of dealing with problems and i don't like it when people just go like hey, or oh, it's just a phase just be happy just just smile and all that stuff and people expecting you to put up a good behavior just because they don't understand or give the same value to a specific problem as you do and so it's that thing ke 
I'm not going to be on my best behavior. I'm not going to be smiling. I'm not going to cover it up. I'm done covering it up. I'm done like not dealing with it. And now's my time. And now like I'm, I'm going to face my problems. And I really like that song because the whole thing is very mellow and slow. And, but his voice, I love Freddie Mercury's voice. His voice like takes you on a journey. And I really love that song. I feel like, like when I, I just listen to it now and it's like such a contrast between his voice and like, you know, the mellowness that like you mentioned. I can like imagine the song, just its beat being like played in like old timey diners and stuff. Like, you know, like where it's really slow paced and stuff. But what you said about the meaning, that's like the complete opposite. And I just feel like it's it's just so interesting with the with his voice and this piano just being so like such opposing like musical elements, I guess. It's pretty cool. I think the, like I, mean, I think it's where you cover the song itself. The only comments I have are like on Freddie Mercury and Queen itself. Like just such an eclectic band. Like they have master of, like mastery of like almost like like this is such a different song from the normal music that they yeah. put out, right? Swear, but like, yeah. they did it so like that's what that's like, why I love the, Queen and Led Zeppelin because they've done things so unexpected. They've made like, who'd expect Led Zeppelin to do reggae? Who'd expect Queen to do like blues? And they've, they've stepped out. They've taken risks only just to like express themselves or like, they don't care if people were like, it showed like they don't care. They just want creative freedom and they did whatever they want. I think Saad, so, your third. Um, yeah. Before I like say that, I was just saying like you know I I think you can appreciate that and like like so like even even in modern times like with like rappers and stuff like whenever you like hear a rapper who can like hold their own in like another like type of song, you always have to gain respect for them. Like it's just like it's not even about like only about like rock fans. It's just like it shows like they're good musicians. They're like fine um, artistic range. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my third song is King of the Fall by The Weeknd. Um, and it's not, it's like kind of the, the exact opposite of the attitudes that were there in the first two songs. And I feel like that was also like a phase like I went through. Like I stopped like caring a lot about uh, like not like others' feelings. It's just like I, I, I tried to like numb everything and I tried to like say like, I don't know man like <laughs> bro, like, um, like bro, it's less about the lyrics it's more about the vibe like because the lyrics are like nice but they're it's just like it's, all of them it's, swallow it's like repeated <laughs> ten times <laughs> I think I think I think everyone last, like, needs to have that. It's, it's, it's about the vibe. Yeah, I think everyone needs to have that one song where you don't have to pay attention on the lyrics. It's just like the music and the beat itself can like uh, convey those emotions. You and yeah, 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 it puts you in that vibe. Yeah. Like aggressive. It's, I feel like it's aggressive. Like like the lyrics, but the way he sings it. Is yeah. like, bro, okay, look, this song really reminds me a lot about. Like the first, like the first time I listened to it a lot was like around twenty sixteen summers when I was like in ninth grade. Like life was good, and I associated that like in the sense like it's like a party song and like like not not a party songs more like I was cruising with like my friends at night. Like it's like I, I think of it like that song, but I also think of, of it like as a song like you know. Um. So while the other two songs before that were about like how much I did care, this song is about like not caring. So it's like this contrast and it's like um he talks about like don't be mad you know take a break from the love um make your own luck it's really like it's a i think it, it it represented my shift in attitude um i stopped i felt like i felt like i couldn't trust lots of people around me i felt like um i what like you Nabil, you said aggressive it was i wouldn't say aggressive as such i think it was more about like I don't know, like, uh, 
like being yeah, fine aggressive is a good like not the best way to say it but something around that like, like he not says, giving like, a fuck now like just going full yeah he says like, like and it's like not really like positive song in the sense like i don't want to learn from the song i don't want the song to be me but like it, it was like at a point and like sometimes you know you have to like be like that um he talks about like if you ain't complimenting then you're offending and like you know sometimes i just feel like you know i don't like it when people like around me um like i don't know like sometimes i just feel like people try and disrespect you but like and like okay again like people i know you shouldn't care about like respect to this extent you shouldn't care about like whether the people are thinking about you we've talked about this before and like i is something i believe like i believe in but bro sometimes like when cuz i've i've been through like things in my life when like um like fights and um like sometimes bro it's just don't give a fuck that's the, uh, i'm not like i'm not going into it just don't give a fuck bro it's about like being a being a khota like fuck them <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to sum it up yeah okay so sorry to be a buzzkill um but i think we need to race to the last two of our songs okay yeah fine yeah so okay, nobody so just quickly go through my fourth so my fourth song is move them together should we do the last two together yeah sure okay So my fourth song is Movie by Tom Mish. So like he's a relatively unknown artist and I'm pretty sure not that many people have heard this song. But to me this song like this guy this artist Tom Mish like his instrumentals I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right by the way but his instrumentals and all his songs and music are just so deep and like for me like I love like I I listen to lyrics as well like I care about lyrics obviously who doesn't but instrumentals when they're like really sexy and stuff they just really hit me and this song like i just felt its guitar was so like orgasmic in a way for lack of a better term and it just so vibey as well and the song basically reminds me of like a somber like sunset vibe like it gives me like a feeling of sunset and like to me i started this i listened to this verse and really like resonated with it when i was like just reminiscing on an end of a relationship and even in the song he's like remember me like fresh out of black and white movie so like he's also like romanticizing his past relationship and how it ended and i can really like relate to that and how like how much it meant to me as well and my next song is yellow by coldplay so that is like complete contrast because like many people have heard about that and that's more like upbeat so with the say it's like has the same factor like it's guitar so I just love the guitar especially like when he starts playing his electric guitar towards the end it's just such a nice feeling just listening to that song and to me that's a song that I've just been listening to throughout like my entire life with and my dad also he this was like a band that we both really enjoyed listening to together like in the car and stuff and whenever he used to play it and it was like something that really connects me to my childhood and family and Coldplay is my favorite band like even though they may like theme of it thing but i just love the vibes the song gives off and how chill it is and just in both songs the guitar element is like really important to me too and yeah i guess that's it for me um my last two um so my fourth one which is a pakka wala is the rain song by led zeppelin and it's just that whole if you listen to it it's it's just a very mysterious song it's like the tuning of the guitar is all over the place the strumming is weird everything is so weird and different and i love listening to the song and it's basically him like robert plant singing about love and using the seasons as a metaphor and there's a specific lyric wait it starts with spring and everything and it starts very warm and nice and everything and it ends with winter and he says upon us all a little rain must fall and i find that very nice and important because everyone will go through ups and downs and i don't associate this song with only just loving an individual but loving like in terms of your passions loving in terms of your family loving in terms of anything around you it will 
there will be ups and downs. You will question things at some times. And it's just a cycle. It'll repeat all over again. You just have to stick with it. And my last song, it was between three, um, four actually. Um, it was between The House of the Rising Sun uh, by The Animals. Um, we Couldn't Make It to the Moon by Milky Chance. Um, While My Guitar Gently Weeps by The Beatles. And the actual fifth song is, an, is a complete 12-minute instrumental. It's the, it's the Ocean by John Butler. And that song, it starts so slow. But then when he starts hitting the guitar, everything gets so much pace. And it's so, I don't know why, it's just... Is like a journey in itself without any words. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, so we narrative things like I. The fourth song for me is actually a favorite song. Um, it's "Many Men Wish Death" by Fifty Cent, and I prefer this Lo-Fi remix on YouTube. But the original is also really good. Um, so it takes a, it takes that like. Ad- that like from the from King of the Fall that I was talking about, but it channels it towards something slightly more positive. So he has like, for lack of better words, like enemies and like struggles. But you know he he thinks like, bro, he channels it towards his ambition. He talks about like, um, he's hungry and he talks about like he he wants things he wants to get. And the hook is so powerful. I think he says, "Many men wish that upon me." Lord, I don't cry no more. He talks about like he's his his he's become like harder and colder on the outside, but that's just because um he's become less like he's he's less sensitive to his emotions and stronger like like he his ambition is what drives him. His amb- ambition is what carries him. He talks about like he wants his, the Lord to have mercy upon him. He talked about like. Some days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain. Joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. Death got to be easy because life is hard. It's just like it's poetry, man. Like, um, it's like it's poetry. Like, uh, I I really like the song because I've had many points in my life when people who don't like me have tried to like attack me physically. Um, the song kind of reminds me of that. And it reminds me of like that attitude. And like I said, it takes the negative, not caring and stop giving a fuck at like um, emotions from the last song and it channels it into like a drive. And then the fifth song, um, you you give honorable mentions. I don't have any specific honorable mentions. It's like, I wish uh, I had a Mac Miller song in one of my top five. He's one of my favorite artists, but I couldn't find one specific song that could encapsulate like my love for him because he has so much like all of his songs are so good and he's really diverse. But my fifth favorite song is "Love Yours" by J Cole. It's also from the same album as No Role Models, and that song, while all these other songs are about who I am and who I, oh, the feelings I felt, the stages I've been through, "Love Yours" is a song that I aspire to be. The, the, that mentality which he speaks about in his song, like how he 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 renounces materialism. Um, personally, I am a I'm against materialism and um, many worldly constructs. He talks about like the true happiness that you can get in life is not from uh, like acquiring wealth or acquiring respect or fame, but rather from being accepting of what you like have and loving it and be and um fighting for it and trying to do good in life and he says there's always going to be some you're never going to be happy if that's what you aspire to be like if you aspire for material things you're never going to be happy you're always going to be stuck in that thing but um it's not like it's not like he's saying he doesn't care he says he cares about different things and like most powerful line that i think in the song is um Heart beating fast, um, let someone know that he's alive. Um, the fake people are mad, snakes in the grass. Like it's, it's just about. I think it's like such a positive song, and and the music video also, the whole vibe of the song. It's, 
I don't know. It's just it's it, it, it's something that I aspire to be like. That's I think I think this podcast itself was pretty difficult to do to like get only five songs. Cause yeah, 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 for sure. One like I I wanted to have like a diverse set of like genres, but then I realized that my like if I was gonna go for a top five, it was all rock. And I think it's very difficult because there there's songs which you've listened to when you were extremely younger that like that reminds you of good times and then there's songs right now which feel very important to you. And so I I found it I found this whole topic interesting because it's like to see what songs you choose and like why do you choose them oh yeah kid curry has a song called soundtrack to my life and i'm not commenting on the song itself i'm just saying that the title of that song people have music like okay from the last podcast we were talking about how people are the main characters of their own like show in their life right so the music that we listen to is kind of like the soundtrack of our lives right we listen to these music these songs and they teach us things they drive us they sh- and and sometimes it's so like you know how this that um that uh, phrase that uh picture speaks like a thousand words but i think one of the best ways to express yourself is from music that you like listen to or create like it's so you can learn so much from about a person by knowing the type of music yeah so <laughs> for for my the, like this is the last thing it's not relevant but for my common app essay um it was about a challenge which was like me not being able to express my emotions that well and then it was the idea of art like visual music and even poetry cuz using words to convey a message I don't find that that efficient but when you have music when you have like things that represent specific emotions like in the guitar like you have minor chords for happiness or sadness and major chords for sadness, things like that yeah. yeah things like that so i think that music is a very good way to express yourself and it doesn't have to be you playing it you listening to that specific music itself can help a lot yeah, yeah. and just expanding on that quickly just like you know i feel like we all carp carp like we all like organize things in our brains like automatically according to like memories or like, like you know certain like i said before a certain like song or a certain smell can like trigger so many memories it's like we carp carp mentalize them in like in our brains and so like i feel like you can really tell your a person's personality through the music they listen to and like you know if we listen to if we listen to like you know um, like a sad song and like we have that song like it like links to a certain memory in our brain and then we listen like someone else says that they like the song i feel like you can that's how you really like establish a closer connection to someone you can yeah exactly you understand where they're coming from and you understand like what they're feeling at that time because you can relate to that so i feel like it's a great way for people to connect and it just yeah i just love playing music yeah. and and, and one reason rock. why i like rock a lot is like you know songs like stairway to heaven and bohemian rhapsody they're so ambiguous and there there's no exact meaning to it so it just leaves leaves it to the listener people argue about what like freddie mercury meant and everything but in the end of the day it doesn't really matter whatever effect that song has to you whatever you exactly. think it means is is the actual meaning interpretation said yeah. yeah so i think follow us on instagram uh if you want to be on the podcast you can dm like the instagram page itself or one of us uh and give a topic you want to talk about so yeah thanks for listening